Hello, Willard Wildcats. We have been thinking about landforms. And you know what landforms are. Mountains and valleys are landforms. What are some other landforms that you know? Hmm, think. I know some of you thought of an island. Did you? How about a canyon? Or a plateau? A hill? A cliff? And there are many more. Scientists who study the shape of the earth are a type of geologist called a geomorphologist. Geology, geo means earth, so geology is the study of the earth. Geomorphology, morph means uh, like shape, so geomorphologists study the shape of the earth. So you are being geomorphologists as you are learning about landforms. <clears throat> now, geomorphologists long ago discovered something very exciting. The shape of the earth is changing. Landforms change over time. Sometimes they get bigger, sometimes they get smaller, but they change. Some of the changes are quick, and some of the changes are very, very slow. Today, in this video, I'm going to be thinking about quick changes. Quick changes. Quick means fast. To a geologist, a quick change means that it might happen over, the change might happen over days or hours, weeks or months. You might not think of something that happens over months as being quick, but to a geologist, to a geomorphologist, that's a really quick change. A quick change to a landform might be a rock slide or a rock avalanche. It might be a flood that changes the shape of a river valley. On my second grade canvas page, I have some links to YouTube videos that show quick changes to landforms. So go take a look, check them out. But we can also study these quick landform changes by making a model. Well, what is a model? A model is not the real thing, but it's like the real thing to help us understand it. Maybe the real thing is too big or too small. Maybe it's too dangerous or too slow. By using a model, we can understand the real thing and we can understand it in the classroom. The quick changing landform that we're gonna think about today is a volcano. Now, why can't I bring a volcano here into the science room for us to study? Volcanoes are too big. They're huge, they're way too big. So we're gonna make a model of a volcano using some clay. I have some modeling clay here and a little cup. I'm going to squeeze the clay and then wrap it around the cup to make the volcano. Now, in a real volcano, there's an opening up at the top. Do you know what that opening at the top of the volcano is called? That opening is called a crater. So this opening at the top of the cup, that is going to be the crater of our, of our volcano. And I'm gonna put it on a paper plate. I'm gonna put it right in the center and I'm gonna mush down the clay you can see that now we've got, there's our volcano. There's our volcano. It's sticking up above the plate. And when you look at it from the top, this is called a map view when you look down at something. So we're looking down at the top of the volcano. You can see the crater. There's our volcano. Now, in our model, this volcano is a volcanic island in the middle of the ocean. 
There are a lot of volcanic islands throughout the world. Um, the Hawaiian Islands in the United States, uh, Mauritius in the Caribbean, Stromboli off the coast of Italy, um, Krakatoa in Indonesia. All over the world, there are volcanic islands. Um, there are islands that are volcanoes. So the island is surrounded by the ocean. I'm going to draw some waves on the white plate so that we remember that these are that this is the ocean. There you go. So I've drawn just a bunch of squiggly lines to help us remember that the plate is showing us the ocean around the volcano. Now, what about lava? Can I bring some lava into the classroom? Too dangerous. So do you know what real lava is? Lava is rock that is so hot, it's melted. It's molten rock. It's super hot liquid rock. No lava for us today. It's too dangerous. Instead, in our model, we're going to be making a chemical reaction happen. We're going to be using two chemicals. We're going to be using baking soda and vinegar. Now, when baking soda and vinegar mix, there's a chemical reaction and they fizz up and they're going to fizz up in the volcano. Um, it'll come up and it'll ooze out of the volcano just like real lava would when it is coming out of a real volcano. So real volcanoes do not erupt because of chemical reactions. But in our model, this chemical reaction will be behaving just like real lava would. So I'm gonna put some baking soda here in the crater of our, of our volcano. Spoonful of baking soda, a little more. And then I'm gonna pour some vinegar into this cup. Now vinegar is a clear liquid, got it open, it's a clear liquid so I want to do something to make it easier to see. I'm going to add some food coloring. And I'm going to add some green food coloring. I'll explain why I chose green in a little bit. So there's some green food coloring drops. Starting to mix. I'm going to swirl it a little bit to make it go faster. There we are. There's the vinegar with green food coloring. Now, I'm going to change the view for us to see the chemical reaction happen, for us to see the model of an erupting volcano. I am moving the camera so that we can look down at the volcano as if we were up high above it. So I'm changing the camera so that we are looking at a map view of the volcano. So I'm going to pour a little bit in here, and we're going to see the eruption. So here, the, where's where the lava came up and out of the volcano, and look, the lava poured out into the ocean. See, where the green is out here, where the green liquid came out, that's the lava. But what happens to lava after it comes out of a volcano? Real lava is hot liquid rock. And what happens after that hot liquid rock cools? Well, it turns back into solid rock. That means this volcanic eruption, it came out, the lava came out over here that means this area over here, once the lava cooled, this is all new land. That's why I used the green food coloring. I wanted you to see it as land. So think for a moment. 
what has happened to the size of the volcano? Now the volcano is all of this area and that. What's happened to the size of the volcanic island? It's this part of the volcano all along here and that. What happened to the size of the volcano? Well, should we have another eruption? Most volcanoes do not just erupt once. Here's some more baking soda. Ready? Eruption number two. What is happening to the size of our island? What is happening to the size of the volcano? All right, third and last time. Baking soda. Vinegar. Over time, our volcano is changing. The landform is changing. All right, my fellow geologists, my fellow geomorphologists, how does the island look different from when we first started? What is happening to the size of the volcano over time? Those are two things that we are going to be talking about the next time I see you. See you soon.